Luca, don't use your phone while we're eating. One sec, Dad. But whatever you're doing, you can wait five minutes till you finish your breakfast. Yep, I hear ya. Right, well, I've asked you three times now. You can have this back when we're done eating. Oh, Dad, oh, it's almost finished. Finished doing what? TripAdvisor. Were you writing a review? Maybe. Matt's Breakfast Cafe. You're reviewing my breakfast. Luca, this isn't a cafe. You're just eating Weetabix in our kitchen. People love reviews, Dad. Matt's Breakfast Cafe is small and stuffy. And to say the service is poor would be an understatement. What the hell, Luca? What can I say, mate? The two first. The menu was incredibly limited with no vegan options. You literally ask for Weetabix every day and you're not a vegan. Are you sure about that? You ate spaghetti bolognese last night. No, probably wouldn't be my that one. I asked for the house special Weetabix but was presented with a bowl of what I can only assume was B&Q wallpaper paste. Are you joking? You asked me to mash it up for you. It's basically cement, Dad. No, it's not. It's literally stuck to the spoon. Luke, can you just stop exaggerating? Honestly, I'll come it off, see? What are you doing? Hello and welcome to another video and before we start, if that intro made you laugh, which let's be honest, it definitely did, then do me a favour and drop this video a like and if you are new to the channel, please can you press the subscribe button, I'm on a mission to get to 2 million subscribers so let's make it happen. Like I can remember back in the day desperately trying to hit 100 subscribers, like counting down the last 10 till I did it and then being really happy, like imagine now if I hit 2 million, like that would be ridiculous. Anyway, who cares, on with the video. So a little while back, this happened. Pizza. Um, margarita pizza is ham. Please. Yep. What size? Uh, what size? Um, triangle size. Triangle size. I watched that clip about a thousand times, and it still makes me laugh because it's friggin' funny. So I thought, I know, why not do it for an entire day? Luca, Luca. Come here, mate. Right. Did you hear the plan? Yeah. What's the plan? Um, maybe circle size pizza. Circle size pizza, okay. And um, that's so what I said was, mm. I'm gonna let you order all of my food for the entire day. Any any thoughts on that? Uh, circle size pizza. Okay, why why do you keep saying circle size pizza? Uh, because that's what I want. <laughs> okay, but this is about me. You got to order food for me. Can we do that? Circle size pizza. Okay. Uh, if you say circle size pizza again, I'm gonna put you outside. Circle size pizza. <laughs> so breakfast. Can we ring up. Mm. What's you gonna say? Pia has a circle-sized pizza. No, you can't. Look, it's a cafe. They're not going to have. They're not going to sell pizza. Definitely not for breakfast. Um, you can. I mean, you can try. You can ask, but. Yeah. Try and ask. Okay. Good morning. What's your coffee house? Uh, hello. Pia's going to have coffee and a circle-sized pizza. Coffee and. A circle-sized pizza. A circle-sized pizza. What coffee would you like, Mister? Um, maybe one with lemonade in, I think. One with your name in? Yeah. Okay, and what's your name, please? Luca. Luca? Yeah. Are you Luca, when would you like to come and collect? Um, no, that's what. I'm just going to go and then start playing. Okay. Okay, breakfast acquired, and the reason I came out to collect it is that I have an important little drop to make. So, something I've been doing for a little while now is making drops at the local food bank because in the current situation, even the average person is struggling to get their food they want, right? So you can imagine, for someone a little bit less fortunate, like, it's gonna friggin' suck. So I figured if I can drop off a few bits every now and then, maybe it'll make someone's life a bit better, even just for like a few days, you know? Now, the thing is, because of, again, the climate, like, food banks want, like, tin food and protein sources and basically meals, right? But obviously you can't be going to the supermarket and getting like 20 of the same thing so i've just been tagging on a few bits to my muscle food order and then chuck them in a bag and then dropping them off so what i would do i'll put a link to muscle food in the description if you want to do the same thing then like i said add a few bits onto your order when you get a chance go and drop them at a food bank and you'll be doing a nice thing for someone that needs it anyway see you back at home right surprisingly enough our local coffee shop did not serve pizza at like 9 30 in the morning so luca we had to get something else uh they had some buns some swedish breakfast buns three types I got all three. I have this little 
we got them from a place called the Orchard Lane. Orchard Lane? Like Orchard Lane Coffee House. Orchard yeah. Lane Coffee House is like a local place. Like, if you can, try and support local businesses. Obviously, everyone's struggling right now. So if you can pick up some bits from a local place, rather than like a friggin' chain, that'll be nice. Okay, so we have, whoa, Luga boy. We have, uh, Oh, that looks good. Does it? Right, so, like <laughs> this sums up soon. I see that, right? And I think, what is this? There is weird green stuff on my bun. Sarah sees it and thinks. That looks good. So that was Pumpkin. cardamom, I think. Ooh. Then we have like a mixed berry one. And then finally a cinnamon one that looks pretty good. Oh, look good. I must think, so when you said you were gonna get like do deliveries all day, I was thinking breakfast would be like the hardest one to get. Actually, ironically, right now there are way more mm. delivery collection options, right? Mm. Because everyone's doing mm. it. Like, where, where we live. There's literally nothing. If you go on Just Eat, but first off, we only have Just Eat. We haven't got like Uber Eats or Delivery. If you go on Just Eat, there's literally like four options, so it's not ideal. But now, loads of local like cafes and restaurants are kind of doing collection delivery stuff, so it's pretty cool. In a depressing lockdown, quarantine kind of way. <laughs> right, this one is really good to try. Is it though? Yeah. What even is cardamom? I don't know what cardamom is. Actually, don't eat all of those. Well, actually, it's cardamom. I know, I chai tea kind of. Okay. It's good, isn't it? Just tastes like nice bun. I mean, Done. it's a good bun, so like it would take a lot to make it not <laughs> nice. Thank you. Luke, what did you order on the phone? This one. Did you? What you said, can I have a berry bun, please? Yeah. Is that what you said? Are you sure you said that? Yeah. A circle size pizza. Uh, we also got lattes. Sarah's got an oat milk latte because she's an absolute creep. I got a regular latte. And Luke got nothing because he's a three year old child. Did you also have lemonade in or they didn't? Didn't? <laughs> yeah. Like they should forgot about that. Luca, when you ordered my coffee, you asked for lemonade in the coffee, didn't you? No. Okay, what was the thinking there? Water. Cool. Can I try a bit of this one, please? No, 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 I have What do you mean? I brought them in. Let me try a little bit. Come on. Yeah, good. You're meant to be ordering food for me all day. You can't just take it. Yeah, that's good. It's all right. I'll be honest, Lisa. Yeah. I think that one's nicer. What's your order? I'll say... What order would you put them in? Cinnamon one. Mm -hmm. Controversial. Cardamom two. Berry three. This is really good. That's yeah, really good. Cinnamon buns are like the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did use workshop manual. Workshop manual. That's a Thomas book, isn't it? It's fine for a three-year-old to like Thomas, and they typically have like a little Thomas book that just tells them like, you know, Thomas's like adventures, right? Luca has Thomas's workshop manual. It's like an in-depth analysis of the mechanics of a train. Luca, are you an absolute nerd? Yeah. I'm a snuggly nerd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish these buns in peace without you absolute creeps watching us. I'll catch up with you with something else interesting is happening. Update, we are out and about getting our daily exercise in now. If you're on Instagram, you would know that Luca, aka the absolute G, can ride a bike, like a legit actual bike, pedals, no stabilizers, it's pretty impressive for a three-year-old. So um, yeah, let's go. We're back. Good biking, right? Yeah. Anything to add? Um, disclaimer. Let's try next time to disclaimer on my bike. <laughs> I mean, we did actually, we did do that. Yes, but maybe not disclaimer on my bike. The same app. Okay, that doesn't actually make sense. Right, it's lunchtime. I'm quite hungry. Yeah. We're going to ring up and order some food. Are you in? Yeah. Okay, breakfast, not going to lie, the call was a little bit awkward. Can we... Try and stay away from awkwardness here. Yeah. Hello, doghouse. Hello, please. Hello, please. Can you order some food? Uh, yes. Yeah, we serve food. But uh, what are we looking for? Um, maybe cheese sandwich. I think. Cheese sandwich. Um, we can do you a cheese sandwich. It's not even menu. Have you got a menu? Um. Yes. Okay, uh, did you see anything you like? Our main's on like, fish and chips, um, so we can do that. We've got jacket potato. I think maybe curry and rice. I think that would be better. Curry and rice? Yeah. Um, we can't do curry and rice, but we can do chilli and rice. Yeah. Chilli and rice. Uh, not my lunch of choice, but 
Could be worse, I guess. This, by the way, was from another local place called The Dog House. Never eaten there before, but hopefully it's good. To accompany this, I have some clear whey from my protein. Luca didn't choose a drink, so I've just filled in the gaps. On the topic of my protein, by the way, the last time I checked, they had a 60% sale on, so link in the description. You want to get some friggin' six supplements at a ridiculously low price, then go and use that link. Uh, for now, Luca is having a nap. I'm doing some editing. I'm also very hungry, so let's eat. <laughs> Okay, done. Um, and that was good. I can safely say that was the best chili and rice delivery I've ever eaten. I mean, it's the only one, but it was good. Now, you may be able to see behind me my incredible, sick, hashtag motivation gym setup, aka a bench and like four dumbbells and a band. I need to train shortly. Well, not, not, I mean, I've eaten chili and rice, so I'm gonna have to give it a minute, otherwise I'm gonna throw up. But um, yeah, I've got to do a push workout. I think a shoulder focus push workout. So I imagine as I speak now, there is some music gradually uh, climbing to an apex, at which point we'll commence the session. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OD, oh no. Apply pressure, put heat on no. Going up, elevate, watch me demonstrate, on time, never late, I grind, celebrate. And training is done, and that was a pretty sick session. Like, I had a period a little while back where I was struggling, like, motivation was not there to train at home, I uh, was not enjoying things, but kind of climbed out at that point, and I'm feeling good again now. Training is, is going well, so I'm happy. Um, also, probably wondering, Matt, why are you training in jeans, t-shirt, and watch, you absolute weirdo? And my dining room, mate, I can do what I want. Oh, and if you're new here, and you're looking for a home workout plan, I have one, and it's amazing. I spent ages building a full home workout plan that you can complete with no equipment whatsoever from the comfort of your own home. So, top link in the description to go and have a look. It's currently 50% off, so pretty good time to get involved. Uh, yeah, cool. Luca is awake. How was your nap? Uh, good. Excellent. Um, right, it's approaching dinner time. Once again, I'm hungry, because you've pretty much Starve me. Uh, what are you thinking, dinner-wise? Um, circle-sized pizza. Why are you so obsessed with circle-sized pizza? Uh, circle-sized pizza. Okay, you gonna say anything else? Um, just circle-sized pizza. Hello, Rex Pizza. Uh, please can we have circle-sized pizza? Yep, what size? Circle-sized. Yeah, is that a small one or a big one? Um, a big one, please. Yep, and what do you want on it? Um, cheese and ham. Yep. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, nice one. Okay, thanks, okay, mate. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Right, it feels like I end every video eating pizza. But I mean, pizza is the best food in the world, so this not complaining. Not going to be my why have, you, why have you already started? I'm meant to be ordering food for me today and you're just eating. Okay, so we ended up getting three pizzas because obviously we have multiple pizza eaters. On a side note, I'm related to anything. My hair, if you've noticed at any point in the video, Matt, what is that on your head? Says, can you explain what happened, please? Matt decided he wanted me to cut his hair again. Sick so I fade. did. Put your head that way for a minute. Looks all right. It's not the best one ever, but it's fine. Uh, our friend rang. So I went to speak to them for a bit and Matt decided to try and do it himself. And then cut like a massive... Grade one up to about here, like a weird Did I though? Did yeah. I? I did, yeah. I was quite impatient at me. Um, so the moral of the story there is don't try and cut your own hair with really rubbish old broken beard trimmers. Um, Luke, what are you watching? Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Gripping viewing. Okay, to put out this, Peter is incredible by the way. Mm. Luca, best thing you've ordered all day. Do a time lapse? Yeah. Countdown? One, two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try and build up a bit more atmosphere. Maybe do an accent. Um, Maybe do a Scottish countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was incredible. Definitely best meal of the day. On a side note, Peter Rabbit's actually quite good. On a second side note, Luca is absolutely sucked <laughs> in like 
He doesn't watch much TV, but when he does, it's like it has some kind of like chemical effect on his brain. And look at him. Luca? Yes. Luca? <laughs> it's literally like you could have a whole conversation. You could you could like dismantle everything around him, and you wouldn't even notice. And we're in ice cream. Check coffee. Check says check. <laughs> you absolute <laughs> creeper. Um, now, admittedly, Luca didn't order me any ice cream, but I really like ice cream. So, in fact, as a lie, I don't really like ice cream. I really like Ben and Jerry's fudge brownie ice cream. It's friggin' mm -hmm. sick. Cookie dough is better, I reckon. Get out of this house right now. Nah. To be fair, actually, cookie dough actually is really good, so I'll I'll forgive you for saying that. Problem with ice cream is that it's ridiculously cold. In this day and age, why can't I formulate like this day and age? Why can't you finish hot ice cream? It's like it's the exact same texture and consistency, but just warmer, so you can just eat it quicker, you know? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna wind the Oh, I'm going to wind the video up because oh, Luca is in bed. Because Luca is in bed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, like I said at the start. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get us to 2 million subscribers. And when I say us, I mean me. Like, it's my channel, so. Uh, hello. Okay, sorry. It's our channel. It's my channel. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.